What's going everybody? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be going back to the beginner friendly vibes. You know, I used to do a whole bunch of tutorials on how to do beginner little aspects of makeup and we're gonna get right back to that. In today's video, together with Professional Nail Hair Beauty, I'm going to be teaching you my one, two, threes on contouring and bronzing. If you've always struggled to find your proper shade or what kind of brush you need or the kind of product really and how to work with it, then this is the video for you. If you're doing this video, please do give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below. Let me know what other steps you guys want me to focus on and I will be sure to work something up for you guys. But yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, so for this video, we're going to be looking at powder contouring because I do believe that it's one of the easiest methods to work with. They're pretty simple and super beginner friendly. I just want to like, guys, excuse my lids. Okay, I haven't done anything to my lids. <laughs> but yeah, I do already have my base on. So that's going to help speed up this process. So today's video, I'm going to be using the Nana Coco um, strobing, sorry, contouring and strobing palette. I believe this is in the medium, um... Tone. I will have it linked down below for you guys to check out. In this palette, we have warmer, I would say more bronzer, and a cooler shade, more contour, and then we have two under eye highlighting shades. So the main thing that separates bronzers and contours is undertone. It's all about the undertone. Bronzer is more so to give you a sun-kissed kind of bronze really <laughs> it's more on the warmer side more on the red tone kind of side um because it brings warmth to your face that's the basis of it so because it is meant to warm up the face you can use it to sculpt your face the same way with contour but for contour as i said the difference is in the undertone contours are more cool tone mainly because they are there to create a shadow now how do you know where the shadows need to go look directly into a mirror and it'll tell you everything <laughs> When you look directly into a mirror, me looking at you guys right now, you can already see a bolt-in shadow on the perimeters of my face. That's basically where you are going to contour or slash bronze. This is why people mainly use bronzes and contours on the outer perimeters of their face. They use it on their nose. Why? To sculpt the nose, it creates a shadow. You can also use it on your bottom lip right here. I do as well because it creates the illusion of a bigger... Um, kind of pout bottom lip vibe. So when it comes to contour, I definitely would not recommend applying it everywhere I would definitely recommend sticking to your cheekbones right here So you're going to place it underneath your cheekbone. So my cheekbones are right here So I like to place it right underneath here and I also love to use contour on my nose Just a little bit because it creates a bit of a shadow Bronzer you can be a little bit more flexible with, whereas contour, because it adds a shadow, you don't want to add unnecessary shadows, if that makes sense. One of the most foolproof ways to apply um, a contour for me is a more, not necessarily super fluffy brush, but a bit more of an angled and a dense brush. So this is a Nana Coco 902 brush. Um, I have one as well. I have one as well, same vibe. This is from BH Cosmetics. So a whole bunch of brands make them. But the whole point of it is that it is a little dense, but it does have some flexibility. So this will allow you to pack on your contour right here, as well as blend it out slightly. All you need to do. For bronzer, I would definitely recommend going in with a super, super fluffy flowing brush. That would be a powder brush. Literally, powder brushes are best okay i know i think i've said this on my channel before is that just because it says a brush is supposed to be used for something does not mean it needs to be used for that purpose okay the reason i recommend a powder brush is because it allows you to kind of give the bronzer an airbrushed effect number one it's super easy to blend out and number two it blends in your face powder blush everything together so it looks as one so you don't just have like bronzer in one place <laughs> Okay, enough talking. I think let's get to the whole doing. I'm going to go into the contour shade right here. And then I'm just going to focus in right here. Deposit all the color. You guys can already see a slight shadow there. So I just like to deposit my color first. Then when that's done, I'll bring it forward. Now if I look straight forward, you can see it's just a little bit more defined. 
Then I'm going to go in with a more fluffy brush and we're going to go into the bronzer shade. Over here, I like to focus it same place, like on the hairline. And then I'll go and blend it out. You would have noticed that I more so applied my contour in a line because it adds shadow. The bronzer, you can go ham. So I just like to take it in light circular motions right here. I think it was Kim Kardashian who was like, you generally applied in a 3E method. So I don't know which way you guys are seeing it, but you start on the forehead, go to the cheekbone and then go to the jawline. Okay, my face is completely bronzed and contoured on this side. And I hope that you can see a difference between the two sides. <laughs> Okay, now we can go in with blush and finish up the face. The main thing when it comes to blush is that you just want it to blend in with your bronze. I know this isn't a blush tutorial, but you know with bronzer and contour, you focus it on the end and blend forward. With blusher, I focus it in the front and blend backward. And that's basically it, guys. It's super simple, super easy. I'm going to go ahead and finish up my face off of camera, and then we'll be back to end the video. All right, guys, and that's a wrap on a super simple, super easy, super quick video. Just giving you the lowdown on contouring and bronzing and how much of a difference they both make make before you guys ask this lippy right here is the ofra matte liquid lipstick in the shade harlem you're welcome <laughs> but yeah once again if you guys want me to do any more beginner tutorials pop down your suggestions below and i will definitely work something up but until then i'll see you guys in my next one bye